Have you ever gotten something really stuck in your hair, carpet, or even your clothes? Something literally impossible to get out. Try slime. It is so time consuming and slime is actually banned in my house because of that. Slime was the biggest fad in my childhood. If you don't know what fad is, it's a trending thing that just suddenly goes away. Like maybe a Stanley Cup and so on. But it just seems to keep coming back. Like COVID and right now actually. I don't know if you've seen on TikTok, but everybody is making it on their counter without a bowl. My mom would kill me, actually. And today, I will be giving you an in-person how to make slime. So the ingredients you will need is glue. This is the biggest glue I could find, but I usually use white glue, but hopefully I'll still do the same thing. You also need shaving cream. This is my favorite part because it makes it really fluffy. And I prefer to use contact solution. So to begin making slime, you will need one and a half cups of glue, which, this is one cup, but I have to refill it in just a second. And clear glue isn't usually like my ideal, like I said, but I'm hoping it'll still do the same thing. And being that it is clear instead of light glue, it will change colors later on, but that's the good part. So here is two and a half cups of clear glue. And then you usually want to use almost the same measurements for your shaving cream, but I'm not going to put that in the measuring cup. That is too time consuming for me. So you want to shake it up a little bit. And you're going to eyeball it. Slime is all about eyeballing. So you're just going to go for it. Quite a bit, actually. It'll make it really fluffy. And so. When you begin stirring, I don't know if you can see it, but it does take a little bit. As you can see, it's getting really fluffy, and that means that it's beginning to work. And by the looks of it, it seems like I might need more glue. But nine times out of 10, when you are making slime, you usually either need more contact solution, which is the activator, or the shaving cream because, oh, sorry, because what is blue gonna do? Literally nothing. It just makes the sign, I guess. More like a balance. So we're gonna stir that once again. As you can see, it looks a lot like marshmallow, but don't eat it, please. That'll make you really weird. <laughs> and when it's starting to look like this, you're gonna begin adding your contact solution. Now, this is basically the real eyeballing part. I usually start with about four tablespoons of it because it's really gonna make it activate, but you would rather have less than too much. That's basically with anything, like if you're baking or, I don't know what else, but it makes sense to me. That might be good enough for now. So when you begin stirring, you can see that it's starting to form in the middle. That means it's working. You want that. As you can see, it's coming together a little bit. I'm not going to stick my hands in it yet because we know what happened earlier. <laughs> By the looks, it seems like we need more. So we're going to add eyeballing it. And then this is where you want to begin putting your hands in the slime. Now, as I said earlier, you need slime hands for slime. And hopefully today, I have that, so we're going to go right for it. I'm going to start off with just one hand, because I'd rather have one dirty. Seems like we need a little bit more. Eyeballing is key. You can see that it's really not that sticky anymore, so we can begin adding our add-ins. I call them add-ins because this is already slime, and good slime is this. Great slime is pretty slime. So you're going to begin by adding your glitter. I was going to do 
food coloring, but I would rather not have my hand purple today. Sorry about that. But I will have glitter hands. are not today, but it's okay. So as I said in the beginning, slime was the biggest fad in my childhood, has made very many comebacks, and as I first mentioned, the ingredients, glue, shaving cream, and contact solution. Second of all was the measurements. They always have to be almost perfect, but you can never just get them right. And third was the add-ins to make a pretty beautiful slime. Other than the sheer fun of science, slime has very many special things about it. The way that it goes from solid to liquid over and over again is just very mesmerizing. And if you're as cool as me, maybe you did sell slime on the playground, but I always made the most money on 